So continuous random variables use area under a graph to figure out probability. A random variable x, and the total area under the graph equals one. This is a probability of all possible outcomes. And area under the graph equals probability. So if you want to figure out the probability between 150 centimeters to 160 centimeters, well, you've got to find the area under the graph for that. Now the probability that x equals a certain number actually equals zero. We know that the probability between 150 to 160 would be this area, but the probability that x equals 165 would be this line here, which actually has no area at all. And since there's no area, the probability of it happening is zero. Now a probability density function is actually what we've been looking at. One of these graphs, basically, which describes the probability. Now figuring out probability. If I want to know the probability of A to B, I need to actually integrate over A to B. Here's an example. So we've got this function here, which looks a bit strange, but if we draw it out, it wouldn't be too bad. And we've got to find the probability that x is larger than one. And this will usually be a capital X. So in order to do that, first of all, we just need to draw out this graph. So let's draw in from zero to two is 0.5x, which is just a line. And it's zero when x is smaller than zero and when x is larger than two. So I'll draw those in as well. Now the probability is actually to integrate between a to b. So the probability of x being larger than one is actually the integration between one and two, which is this bit here. Because x larger than one, the only area that exists there is between one and two. There's no area at this point, so we don't need to try to figure out anything there. The integration of this, x squared, divided by two gives us 0.25x squared. And then if we chuck this in our calculator, this will give us 0.75. So this area here is actually 0.75. Now, if we integrate from negative infinity all the way up to infinity, that's gonna give us one because all probabilities add up to one. If we integrate between negative infinity all the way up to infinity, the area of this is gonna equal one. If we look at something like this, the only area that exists is in this bit here. If we integrate between 140 to 170, it's gonna give us one because this is the total possibilities that could happen. And that's it, I hope this helps. <laughs>